Well, hello, and how is everybody today? Claire here, Purple Poppy, and I've come along today to show you the four pocket journal page. So we've got one, two, three, four. And as you can see, I've stitched across the top and the bottom, and I've stenciled across for some decoration. So, nice simple one here. So if you want to craft along or do one of these, you're going to basically just need one sheet of paper. In fact, technically you only need half. So I've got a standard A4 sheet of paper that's been coffee dyed and I'm gonna fold it in half, like so. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again okay then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold it back into the middle in half again so now I've got four sides I'm going to take my scoreboard I'm going to line it up while it's still folded in four, now I can't find, there it is. And while it's still folded in four, I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch all the way down, okay? I'm now going to take my tear ruler. You could obviously do it with scissors if... Um, you would prefer or a straight ruler but as you know I like my tear ruler if we open it back out we can see that is the original first quarter so line the tear ruler up and tear down to give us that nice aged look and obviously we've got our score line there which gives us our fold or our hinge whatever and then this was obviously the middle line so I'm going to tear down that one there like that and obviously there's our score line oops that's not very good is it let's get our score line back where it should be there I've really mullered that one up. There we go. Fold it on the score line. And then the last one. Down there. Let's try and stick to the score line this time. Okay. That's piece three. And then... This is piece four. So just like that, we have our four pieces, okay? I'm gonna take my ink. I've got my nice new walnut stain now. So we've actually got some ink on this beauty. So I'm just gonna go down my edge, get some color on there. And you will notice that I'm actually inking up not the fold but the far side we only ink up the fold on the very first one because that is where obviously we see the whole piece so that's that one I'll turn it over obviously we're inking on the opposite side to the fold because the fold is underneath can hear the table um, rattling oh dear so I'm still sniffy I do apologize um, I've basically been topping up the cold medication today uh, dreadful runny nose but somehow I seem to have lost the cough which is good 
you want to probably start hacking in a minute now I've said that so that's that one and then we've got the very last one so across a little bit of the top you don't need to do all of it well, it doesn't matter if you do but you don't need to and then just come down the side here okay so now we have the only thing we need to worry about is that is piece piece one then we have all of our other pieces there so i'm going to cover up my ink turn it over now i'm going to fold this up just so it represents a page in our journal which obviously in due course it will be a journal page so there you go that's our journal page and then i'm going to use my glue stick Oops. So, fold it out, okay, because obviously you don't want to risk getting glue on the other underside of your fold. And then just make sure, <coughs> excuse me, see I told you that happened, make sure that you get it straight. You do have spare space on the page, so you do not need to go all the way to the edge. But you do need to make sure it's straight and then open it out, flick it back. Do exactly the same with the remaining three or the three that are remaining. And line this one up next to the end of the hinge of the previous one. Okay, so line that up and open it and do the third one <coughs> to apologize see it's all nice and quiet because boo's gone out for a walk and it seems quiet in the street tonight but for now i'm coughing it just can't ever be nice and quiet can it fold that one and then our very last one Okay, fold that back under, position that up close to the previous hinge. There we go, and just like that. Okay, so now if we fold them all back, that creates our four pockets. <coughs> now, as you can see on mine here, I did stitch it on the top and on the bottom you don't have to do that you can glue it or for those of you that saw my previous video when i was doing the book page journal i actually called it a flip flap advert because i stenciled it and left them free so that you could flip it open so obviously you could do that as well but i'm going to take my stencil and i'm going to decide roughly where i'd like to position it like that and i am just going to ink through to get the stencil pattern on my flippy flappy pockets which obviously i'm not going to flip and flap because they're going to be stitched or glued down obviously you don't have to stitch these you can glue them if you want to uh, you don't even have to seal them down if you want to leave it flippy flappy there's no reason not to but i'm doing them as pockets uh, i won't worry to get my sewing machine up because obviously it is noisy and it does take up most of the desk um, but obviously um, if you want to stitch them that's absolutely fine as i did with the demo one up there I'm just going to glue these um, for ease so as you can see it's a very quick project today um, trying to avoid you know coughing and sneezing but giving you something a little bit fun today now it's uh, Saturday share tomorrow so obviously I will be back tomorrow
with some kind of shout. Right, so there you can see that we've got the pattern across all of them. And obviously it looks much darker on these because of the edging. So if you want to go around and edge up your actual journal page, there's no reason not to do that. Just to tie it in a little bit more. Also, of course, the actual flippy pages have been coffee dyed. This journal page has been coffee dyed also but it's actually a different paper. Um, the white that we're colouring now is 120 gram coffee, uh, copier paper, whereas this one is actually newsprint news paper. It's the lighter weight one. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm just gonna open them all up and I'm just going to run my glue at the edge all the way up the side because we want all of them and then I'll bring that one down and stick it and then I'll just run again run that one down and stick it run again that one down and stick it and the same on the very last one so there you go, that's a very quick, simple project. And as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four pockets. So obviously when you're making the journal, you can fill the pockets or you can leave them empty, whatever look, you know, that you want. So there you go, and I haven't put one in the back, have I? There you go. Um, one right in the back. So there are your, whoops, fingers and thumbs. There's your four pockets on your journal page, and obviously you can turn it over and carry on and do whatever you will. So that's a nice, simple one there for you today, and as you can see, this one was stitched, this one was glued. There's not a huge amount of difference. It's just your personal preference. And if you really wanted to, there's no reason you couldn't run some lace up the edge here or different type of lace, you know, across the bottom. You know, this bottom corner or the top corner because, you know, we like to have lacy bits hanging out of the top. So there you are, nice, quick, easy project for you today, requiring coffee dyed paper, glue and a stencil. Very, very simple. If you don't have a stencil, you could easily have decorated up these pages before with something like newspaper or music paper. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy crafting. I'll see you very soon. Take care for now. Bye.